How you guys doing today? It's Anthony Ganji, host of Tear Talk, and today, which is February 1st, 2018, marks a year since the deadly riot at James T. Vaughn Correctional Facility in Delaware, where we lost one of our own, one of our brave heroes, Lieutenant Stephen Floyd. A year. So now, if you read the articles that are coming out today, the changes that needed to be implemented, especially in regards to programming, they're not happening. The reason why is because of proper staffing. Guys, this is a national issue. This isn't just happening in Delaware, it's happening nationally. But Delaware is leading the argument now. Delaware is making it known right now that there is no programming unless the facilities can be properly staffed. Jeff Klopp, who's the president of the Correctional Officer Association of Delaware, is putting it out there. Frontline is doing a great job at showing the world, leading this fight, that you want programming, we're willing to give you that. We know it's needed. We don't want inmates to remain idle. We don't want inmates to be disruptive. We want to keep them busy. But there will be no programming unless you have the proper staff available. That's why these changes that are occurring to corrections, they're just not working. They're isolated changes that are not literally going through the needs of safety and security first to create that balance that will ultimately help rehabilitation. So Delaware, off a tragedy, is leading this fight and we have to listen because this isn't just happening in Delaware. Federal system is cutting on officers left and right. You cannot cut staff and expect us to run the programs necessary for rehabilitation. It just does not work. And these changes that have to be implemented in Delaware, none of the changes can be implemented if staff is not available to commit to those changes. So I want to say, in wake of this tragic event that happened last year, I want to say kudos to the front line of the Delaware Department of Corrections. Kudos to their union, the Correctional Officer Association of Delaware, and especially Jeff Klopp, who continues that fight for his people, which is what we want for a union, but also leading, leading the fight in regards to the balance of safety and security with rehabilitation. If you want changes to occur, and you want those changes to be beneficial to the system, and you want to focus on that programming, whatever's needed to make sure those inmates get what's needed to be rehabilitated, to limit their chances of coming back, then you need the proper staff. And therefore that creates the balance of safety and security with rehabilitation. Delaware is leading, an arg uh, leading the argument. They're at the forefront and we should tag along with this. Nationally, this has to be heard. Great job, Delaware. It really is. Great job. Kudos. As always, guys, the show is Tear Talk. Please, guys, if you haven't, like the page, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, interact, engage, and hit that bell on the YouTube channel. It's going to notify you every time I post up a video. As always, guys, stay safe.